the experiment is design of closed loop amplifiers inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier and voltage follower circuit so first let us start with non inverting amplifier this is the design for the non inverting amplifier the gain is calculated as 1 plus rf by r1 and output voltage is calculated as 1 plus rf by r1 into the input voltage so the input resistance r1 is chosen as 1 kilo ohms feedback resistance is chosen as 10 kilo ohms the phase difference for the non inverting amplifier will be obtained as 0 degree so let us see the connections so we are going to use op amp ic741 the input is given to the non inverting terminal which is the third pin and resistance r1 of 1 kilo ohms is connected to the second pin which is the inverting terminal rf is the feedback resistance which is 10 kilo ohms and it is connected between pin number 2 and pin number 6 and supply voltage of plus 15 and minus 15 are connected to 7th pin and the 4th pin respectively let us see the breadboard connections so the given circuit is a non inverting amplifier so the input is given to the third pin which is the non inverting pin and at resistance R1 which is 1 kilo ohms it is connected to the ground and the other end is connected to the second pin from pin number 2 to pin number 6 we have connected the feedback resistance of 10 kilo ohms and input is connected to the third pin which is the non inverting output is connected at the sixth pin which is the output pin supply voltage of plus VCC and minus VCC are given at seventh pin and fourth pin respectively let us see how we can connect the DC power supply so for plus VCC we are connecting a 12 volt the DC voltage source for minus VCC we are connecting a 12 volt DC source and coming to the channel here but the positive of the channel 1 is connected to plus VCC and the negative is grounded for the channel 3 again another 12 volt the negative is given to minus VCC and this positive terminal is grounded so we have to connect this negative and this positive to ground the positive of channel 2 to plus VCC negative of channel 3 to minus VCC this is the dual supply connection how we can connect the op amp observing the input signal from the function generator we have set a input voltage of 100 millivolt or 0.1 volt peak to peak and 1 kilohertz as input signal and we have enabled the on off button for enabling the input signal to the breadboard form channel 2 is connected to the output waveform so we can see the measurements for channel 1 and channel 2 respectively the amplitude and the frequencies we can observe here the amplitude of the first channel is the input which is 110 or 115 millivolt nearly 100 millivolt the frequency is nearly 1 kilohertz which is set from the function generator for the second channel it has been amplified by a gain of around 11 for the non inverting amplifier so the amplitude is measured around 1.27 volt and the frequency is remaining as it is which is 1 kilohertz so we can see a uh, the phase shift of the output to be 0 degrees and amplification of around 11 for the non inverting amplifier so coming to the inverting amplifier the gain equation is minus rf by r1 into input voltage the choose the resistance value rf of 10 kilo ohms r1 as 1 kilo ohm the phase shift between the input and output to be observed is 180 degrees the circuit connection we are going to give the input to the inverting terminal which is the second pin and the third pin non-inverting terminal is going to be grounded and a dual supply is given to seven and uh, fourth pin feedback resistance to be connected between second and the sixth pin coming to the breadboard connections so here we are going to connect inverting amplifier so the input is given to the second pin we can observe that the input is given to the second pin the other end of the resistance r1 is the input signal and this is the oscilloscope probe for observation of the signal input and pin number 2 and 6 are shorted by the feedback resistor of 10 kilo ohms and pin number 3 is grounded and we can observe the input and output waveforms in the oscilloscope so as we can see the input ampli amplitude is nearly 100 millivolt which is set from the function generator 1 kilohertz frequency amplitude of the output is around 1 volt 10 times amplification of the input and the frequency is around the same 1 kilohertz and we can observe the phase shift at the output of 180 degrees for the inverting amplifier circuit is the voltage follower circuit so here we are going to observe the input signal and output signal to be the same the gain of the voltage follower circuit is 1 
coming to the breadboard connection the input is given to the non inverting terminal third pin 2 and 6 pin are shorted and output is measured at the sixth pin so we can observe here the input and output waveforms are going to be the same without any amplification the voltage gain is 1 so we can observe the amplitude of the input as 115 millivolt amplitude of the output also is 115 millivolt frequency of both the channels remaining the same which is 1 kilohertz so this is the voltage follow circuit where the gain observed is 1